yeah hi we are from SVS embedded the project title name is IOT based IOT web based smart shopping trolley with the QR code reader module so in this project we are using one power supply module 9 volts adapter and we are converting into 5 volts pure DC output and we are using ESP32 AI thinker module it requires Wi-Fi hotspot internet and we are the, using the Wi-Fi hotspot project project 1234 and one alarm 16 cross 2 LC display RS enable D4 D5 D6 D7 23 22 21 19 18 5 and we are using three switch buttons ok increment button decrement button so we can increase and decrease the number of can quantity of the items so ESP32 QR code reader module and one red LED one green LED so if there is a scan it is waiting for the green color LED whenever scan scan the code if it is authorized code red LED on and one beep sound alarm so let us coming into the hardware part so we are using four items okay so we are using one adapter power source 9 volts 1 ampere adapter power source we are using bridge rectifier filter capacitor 7805 regulator 1 LED 5 volts power supply module ESP32 AI thinker module it requires Wi-Fi hotspot internet project project 1234 it will provide one IP address okay so ESP32 uh, QR code reader module ESP32 cam OV2640 camera so two LED, one red LED and one green LED, 16 cross 2 LCD display, OK button, increment button, decrement button and one alarm. Okay. So whenever you on the switch kit, so it should be a blank. Why? Because we, we need to provide one Wi-Fi hotspot. Okay. Go to Wi-Fi hotspot. It should be blank. So it requires one Wi-Fi hotspot internet. Okay. So the network ID is project and the password is project 1234 and there is no spaces okay so okay done uh, use data limit okay number of allowed connections is more whatever it is eight okay i given eight connections okay and if you are going for the if this is the reset button compulsory you need to restart this kit then only it will show you the esp32 module okay esp32 module Adreno. Whenever you press it, then it will show you the IP address 192.160.43.7. So this is my mobile. If, if it is changed, some different IP address you can it will come. So if you go to the Google and press 192.168.43.7, so it will show you the so biscuit, lux soap, mango, bread, quantity and the cost okay so now i'm going to scan the card whenever it scans red led and small beep sound mango item is zero i am increasing the number of quantity okay total 180 total 180 so mango four items 180 bill and Oh, total cost is 180 now I am going for the another card it is QR code with QR code ID number ok Luxop 30 so now quantity is 0 now I am increasing the number of quantity ok total 330 total 330 Luxop 30 rupees quantity is 5 okay now i am going for the another qr code okay red led for the scanning after red led green led scanning red led and one beep sound milk bread item is zero now i am increasing the items okay six items total cost is 420 total cost is 420 so now I am taking another card, okay, QR code card, okay, QR code require high, high intensity light, okay, red LED, one beep sound, quantity is zero, okay, 470 bill, 
total 470 if i want to remove the items so now i am going to remove the items same card okay like so okay like so total items is 5 i want to decrement the item 3 items okay Luxo soap now it 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 will goes to three eighteen okay uh, when it is update okay. Forty-five, four items. Two ninety, and after refresh, it will came two ninety. Okay, milk bread, item is six. Now I am going to decrement the items. Three items. Milk bread three items. Milk bread three items. What if I two two forty five cost? Two forty five cost. Once again, five volts power supply module and red LED one green red LED green LED for the QR code reader module purpose and ESP thirty two module AI thinker sixteen cross two LCD display OK button increment button decrement button. And the alarm so it will provide one ip address so ssid and password project project one two three four whenever you press that uh, press it so whenever you press this it will show you the ip address 192.168. okay thank you